Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm gonna uh, show you comic books I picked up over the, this past weekend. I went today and I went on Sunday and I went yesterday to Half Price Books and my local comic book store, one of them, uh, Laughing Ogre, and I picked up a few books and I had a good time. Uh, let's set this camera right so I don't cut my head off the top. And let's get through these books real quick and show you what I got. Hopefully you enjoy it, everything. I did a little bit of hunt. You can see a little bit of stuff that I found as I was looking for it, and then I flipped through different things that I thought I was going to buy, and then I made my final purchases at the end. But this is from my local comic book store, Laughing Ogre. I like this cover because I thought it was cool. Um, just love Alex Ross's artwork. I'm going to go back and try to get all of them. A lot of these I get at half price books, but this one I didn't see yet. I went to Laughing Ogre and I wanted to buy bags and boards, so I bought my Silver Age resealable bags and boards at Laughing Ogre. And I saw these books when I was in there. I said, you know what? I want to get this right away because I love this. Um, he did another one with uh, the other uh, uh, face for um, Captain America's uniform with the shiny metallic. Uh, when Bucky was um, Captain America, he did a face like this. And this is the other guy. This is a guy that also poses for his Superman pictures and everything. It's really cool. But look how cool that is. It's just, he's an awesome artist and everything. So, um... I had to get that one. So that's Captain America number eight. But he's doing all the covers for him. And he's doing Savage Sword of Conan. Awesome covers. I'm like, he's got to be like bolted to that um, painting thing. But he probably can knock stuff out. I mean, it's like it's just routine from him. Boom, 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 boom. How he does it. He, I remember I read it in one of his books how he talked about how his schedule was. Like at night where he worked into the night and everything. And the early morning where he was the best time for him where he could paint and just knock out paintings but he's got a schedule and he's disciplined but that is awesome well that's captain america number eight let's set that over here then i got dr strange number 12 i thought this was going to be good it seems like i'm not sure if he's going to have to be taking a uh power from uh galactus or something like that to help win a war or something i'm not sure exactly what's happening but when i saw it i said you know what that looks interesting because one of the pictures i'm going to show on my when i do my previews um books if I didn't show it yet um he had uh Doctor Strange putting he had uh, Galactus's helmet getting ready to put it on so I'm thinking wow what's going on here so but look he's got a new uniform and everything that's cool so but that's Doctor Strange number 12 uh this I was wondering whether it was going to be there and I'm thinking okay Deadpool was getting like popular with certain a certain storyline and everything so I said you know let me grab this um this is Deadpool number 10 this is that Laughing Ogre. They, like I said, some of the books that are sold out online and everywhere, they have them. And they, you can only buy one book at a time, and you can't buy two and doubles and stuff like that. Um, so, you usually can get a book. If they got a bunch of them, you usually can pick them up. And I was looking for back issues. I mean, not back issues, but I was looking for variant covers. Because they have a variant cover box on their on the table. Over by the supplies and everything that you can buy Like when I got my backing boards. And, but I didn't see, like, Hella from War of the Realm, Realms. I wanted to see if I could get that cover, but I didn't see it in there. And sometimes, like, with all the different covers coming out, one of the girls worked at it, she said that they bought a whole bunch of covers for uh, Iron Man that one time when he did all those different, they had different versions of the Iron Man armor on the book. They bought all those, and they didn't really sell them all, and they didn't really do too good with them, so they stopped buying all those extra covers because it was just like, no way, we don't, we don't need to do that unless you order it pre-order it you ain't gonna find it in there because i can imagine if you own a store and you're gonna try to buy everything you can't so unless you're just huge i wonder if mile high comics does that and they have on their wall they order it one of everything or something or not one of everything but multiples of everything wow and like a big store like that or midtown or like i say you can go on uh midtown or you can go on uh uh mycomicshop.com i think they're located in texas lone star but uh they have to have everything on there too. You can order it on there, but it's amazing. But this one I thought was cool. So this, I guess this appearance of this, first appearance of this character here. And I flipped through and the artwork's really nice and everything, but I don't know anything about it totally, so I can't really say. But um, when I saw other YouTube people um, doing it, I said, you know what, let me grab this book. The only thing I noticed on this was like, there's the rub mark there. And it's not like perfect condition, but it's, I said, at least I got one and everything. And maybe, like, one time, or oftentimes, you can go on Midtown Comics, and they'll get back issues of stuff that's sold out. They'll find more and put them on there. 
and the one issue I'm talking about, they got more of the Scrawl Venom cover. Is that number 12 or 11 or something like that? With um, the Scrawl hanging from the uh, building. It's like black and white, and it's Venom, but it's like a Scrawl face and everything. So they have more of those. I think they're still on there. You can only order one at a time. So at least I got one for $3.99, and I went on MyComicShop.com before I realized that they had them. And I bought one for 8 bucks on MyComicShop.com, so I have two of them. Everything, and if I want to, I will get, I will have one for giveaways. But usually, I like to try to get three before that. But go to my midtowncomics.com and see if you can get uh, just punch in Venom and go to the issues and everything, back issues and stuff like that. And they should have it where you can go down and look at it and you can order uh, limit one of the scrawl cover of uh, Venom and everything. But okay, here's Deadpool number 11. <laughs> I thought that was funny when it when I saw for pre-order preview i'm thinking what in the world is this it said limit one i'm thinking must be something happening in this and see that's before i knew about the other characters so i said okay just go get it so that's that's cool and you can only get one but if i want it more i can get more online and they're still on there so and this is the last new book i got uh a lot of hype with it and everything um rob lightfield's major x um i'm not sure what i think um Rob's not the greatest artist, but he's got a style that's kind of like you like it and you don't like it. But but I, I like it and I notice some things, some glaring things as an artist myself, some things that he doesn't do quite right, but he's sellable. So you look at this, you look, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It just, it's a nice, clean cover of the character and the characters in the background and everything. And you're like, okay, and everything. Um... I know he, he gets a lot of um, flack and everything, like for the feet thing, and they joke, like Deadpool joked about it in the uh, movie and stuff like that. But um, he was just really sellable and everything. So I thought it was just a nice, clean cover, so I picked it up. I know he's doing variants of uh, like Superman. He did a Wonder Woman. For, I think I don't know if it's for just Superman or Justice League. He's getting um, paid to do those and stuff. So I thought I saw, I'll look it up and see if it's okay. Everything like I said, you go by what person, what the person does. If you read it and you go, oh, that's terrible, you won't buy it anymore. And they got to step up their game. But if he's doing it and it's a good story, then he stepped up his game, and you're like, I'm buying Rob Liefeld. So you give give somebody a chance, and if they prove that they don't do it, then you go, okay, no hard feelings. But or it, some people are really, they show their feelings and everything like that. Man, you suck, man. Or get in your face, or they just go, yeah, you know what. I'm not buying you no more, but um, I'll I'll read it and check it out, and hopefully it's good. Everything, because I mean, you want people to do well, and he's been drawn for what 20 years and doing stuff like that for working when he was a kid, young man to um to now, and everything. So hopefully, it, hopefully it's good. And same thing with other guys. Like um, I wish uh this guy. I'm gonna show you some of my independent stuff. I wish he would come back and do more stuff. But I know he's doing variant covers like for Asgardians of the Galaxy and stuff like that. But I wish he would bring this character back, Pitt. Um, I didn't uh, have these. I, had, I found a couple of issues in number one and some other stuff from the various issues going around. So I didn't have these. I checked my um, comic app, collector's app, to see which ones I had. I made sure I entered them in. And I didn't have seven. So that's cool. There's number seven of that, Pitt. And I got number eight, number nine, and number 12. I thought that was a good look at that one. Wow, scary. But these all I paid a dollar for. Yes, so I keep the, keep the little thing in the back. I ripped the bag and everything. But um, those looked good, so. I'd like to see him come back and do stuff. I see he's doing covers and everything like that. Just like Jim Chung, I love his artwork. He worked on Ski On at Cross Gen, and he's done like uh, other stories with Marvel and stuff like that. And I've seen he's done he's done some covers and stuff. But hopefully he'll get to do a story and everything. He did it like a, a, a Magneto, uh, the Children's Crusade story he did, and that was beautiful. And hopefully he can do. He did an Affinity issue too with uh, Thanos on the front cover, and he did the artwork through that. But hopefully you can do some more stuff because I love his artwork and everything. Here's some other stuff that I found um, for an independent. I found some Gold Key and Whitman versions of Bugs Bunny. This is number 146, I think it was, and this is 157. Here's 156. You got it for a dollar of Bugs Bunny 
that's his gold key and then this was on 157 and it's a Whitman variant of it but it was funny and I mean it was a really good condition too I was surprised all of them were or both of them were so and they saw I said how much are these he saw those are just for a dollar I'm like okay and they sell them for more though I mean they're worth more then I found, uh, I got, if you saw one of my videos for Sonic the Hedgehog, I found another Hedgehog. Sonic Super Special, number 14. And as soon as I saw it, I said, you know, do I really want to get it? And I said, uh, for $1.25, for $1.25, just, well, if, I, if it'll focus on it. So I keep the sticker on the back. But for $1.25, just buy it. Then, uh, one of, uh, my watchers of uh, viewers on one of my videos where I did a, uh, my latest uh, hunt video for half, half uh, price comics I filmed um, my hunt and some of the books that, that I was gonna buy and I put this one back and he said go back and get it or he said you should pick it he said it was uh, discontinued or recalled so I said okay I better go get it because I looked at it I said do I really want this and I had a big stack and I'm thinking ah I don't need this I don't need this and I cut down on the price plus I had a 10% off half price uh, books coupon that they gave me for selling them some books and I used it and they, they, I think I paid what's 47 bucks total but um when he saw the video I flipped through it and I sit and I put this in my stack you know if you know me you watch the hunt videos I make a stack of books and, I, and after I'm done I say collect the dude out and then I go through and I price I go through my comic shop.com and other places to see what the book is worth and if it's worth a lot I'll grab it and because I paid just a little bit for it and if I can make some money off of it or just use it as a giveaway I'll do that if it's worth a lot I'll give it away and you'll be like hey I only paid a dollar for it but it's worth 12 it's worth 20 it's worth 30 whatever but I, I love doing that stuff um, and I finally I think I almost got everybody's address to send those books off I just got to get some stuff some tape and everything and I'll, I'll send them to you you get them this month uh, here's this was a dollar 49 so, but it's all black and white inside. So it looked pretty good. I'll show, this, show you this real quick. Um, it's a variant issue. Or not a variant issue, but it's a special movie issue and everything. But um, I didn't know what it was like inside. But that's the inside of it, the first page. And it's just talking about the story or something. And then... Here's the artwork here. So I'm not sure who the artist is. Let me see if it says it on here. Uh, written by and illustrated by Paul Chadwick is his name. So you may, some of you may recognize his artwork and everything, but here's a few more pages. So but that's what it looks like throughout and everything. And then... Uh, Here's a picture in the back there, like a poster. And another one there. So it looks pretty good. And here's like another poster by Aaron Weisenfeld. This guy does a lot of detailed artwork too. Look at, I mean, you look at the detail, you're like, wow. So but that's inside of that. So maybe I'll do a flip through of it. I mean, something simple. But I'm still behind on a lot of other books that I want to do. And I want to show you a lot of the books that I have. And some of the other stuff that I have to finish that I started months ago. And then I saw this one today. It says Alien 3, the unproduced screenplay. My girlfriend loves Alien, all the movies. So I picked this up and I let her say she's, I'm going to give it back to her so she can read it. But it's all um, color artwork inside. I paid $1.99 for it. But um, from Dark Horse. So... It's pretty cool. It's, it's issue one. Issue one, Alien 3. Um, I'm not sure what um, if there's more. I think there's maybe four issues to this or something, but it may be more. But I just looked it up real quick. I couldn't find what it was worth um, on um, uh, mycomicshop.com. I'm going to have to look again and see if I can find it. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll, I'll put a big stack out. And I'll go on that site, try to find stuff. And if you don't put it in exactly right, sometimes it won't find it. If you punch in Alien 3, it'll punch in the third issue of Alien. And you're like, come on, I can find it, find it. So if I don't find it, I'll go to Amazon and check there. But like I said, Amazon and eBay, the prices are all over the place. So you just, you don't know.
but if I can't find it and I and I like it, I go, you know what? It's cool enough to get, so I'll just buy it. And if it ain't worth anything, still, my girlfriend loves the Alien 3, and I just like the artwork, so it's cool. Now, this is what I found at um, my half price books uh, stores. I went to two different ones. Um, I went to the one that I went to yesterday. I went there today and picked up some stuff, and then I went to another one um, today, and I got a few more. But I thought this was cool. Moon, Vengeance of Moon Knight number, number two. Love that cover. So I paid $1.99 for this one. That looks cool. And then, um, and, and like I said, as soon as I, once I start picking up the covers and I know which ones are worth, as soon as I see them, I grab them because I recognize, oh, this is worth one, just put it in a pile and everything. So this is Darth Vader, number two. This is worth pretty good money. What it's selling for, and it's really in good condition. So I have a few copies of this. I was hoping the way they had them, they had Darth Vader two through 12 or 14 or something like that. I was hoping I'd find a, one with um, Doctor, the first appearance of Dr. Afro, which is number three. Like I said, the one that I bent, but they didn't have it. And I noticed sometimes people will sell all the books, because I do that, sell all the books around the keys, and they keep the keys, and um, they won't sell a full collection. But this is a nice one, too. This is a key one as well. I paid $1.99 for this. And that's, I think it's going for like 17 to 20 bucks, something like somewhere around there, maybe a little less. But this is, I found another one of these, Star Wars number one. Paid a dollar, no, 249 for this one. So that's cool. And I found two more of these on two different days. Star Wars two. I have, I have about three or four copies of this. I got one sitting over there on my pile. But um, I'm going to use these for giveaways. I got to figure out like how to do the contest and everything. I, I want to do a contest for 350 subscribers and then jump me up to 400. I want to get the 500 really quickly so I can give away that Marvelocity book and everything. Plus some other stuff that I'm, I'm picking up. I'm finding books like some really nice art books that are really cheap, like $20. And they're really nice condition. Like a, a Harry Potter book I saw was really nice. Like for 15 bucks, a hardback. Um, Star Wars art, uh, artwork to Destiny. Some of the video games that are out there, the artwork to those books, they're at half price books for really good money. Just like I paid like 10 bucks or $9.99 for the 300 book. They got a Holy Terror book that um, for the Xerxes in it from uh, Frank Miller. And I think that was like, that one might have been a little bit more. But that would be a nice book to give away. So like I said, I can get all those books really uh, inexpensive. Um, at half price books and use them as giveaways as the big hardbound book that I give away with every hundred subscribers that I get I'm like I'm gonna continue to do that as long as I can This one When I found it the century number one comic-con international I Flipped through and said put it aside. That looks that that's different. I said it looks pretty cool It's different number and it's number one So you gotta grab it and somebody said I hope you when I uploaded the video I did buy it. He said man. I hope you picked up that century number one and I did I paid a dollar forty-nine for this. Look how good condition it is. This right here, I thought was a problem on the side, but it's like that on all of them. I looked online, the CCC versions. These things are going for up to seven hundred fifty bucks. You could only get it at the San Diego Comic Con. I'm like, wow. So this is really nice, nice condition. And it was in the bag, and boy, when I got it, if I remember correctly. But if you watch the haul video, the latest haul video, you'll see that I got it. And some of the Conan books that I wanted to get, I went back and some of those books are going for $20. More than like $5 magazine Conan books, the saga, Savage Sword of Conan. And they have a Conan Saga or something like that. Those aren't worth as much. But I just like those magazine books. I got a few of them. If you saw one of my other haul videos, I got a few of those from another half price books. But this one uh, had about 20, uh, maybe... Not 20, what am I thinking? Uh, maybe about six or seven issues of it, of different ones. And I'm thinking, uh, I'll, if I if they still sit there, I'm going to pick them up because I like stuff like that. Conan is an awesome character, plus he's coming out there and introducing him in, in, into the uh, Marvel Universe. And what's really cool is my boy, Mike Diodato Jr. What's the book? What's the one he's doing? Savage Avengers. I got to do a flip through so you can see the book. And everything in it, but I I, I want to go through Midtown Comics site and do a video of that and Unknown Comics and see if they got any variant covers. But uh, Mike Diodato and David Finch I think did a cover for him. Mike Diodato is going to do the inside artwork 
of that. I wonder if he's going to do them all or just a few of them. But whatever issues he does, I'm going to make sure I get them. And I really hope I can get my viewers to appreciate Mike Diodato Jr. I know there's millions of people that love his artwork. I know it's got to be more than thousands. But um, he's an awesome drawer. He's an awesome artist and everything. You see some of his early stuff like in Glory and Wonder Woman. And to see him as he uh, goes through Thor and Hulk. And then he moves into uh, some, I can't remember what other books he worked. He did Thunderbolts. And, and he's done some Spider-Man stuff. And if you see him, how he's how his artwork, artwork has evolved and how beautiful it is now in the Hulk or Wolverine, uh, Old Man Logan, I mean, um, and then going into uh, Infinity War, beautiful stuff. And he's done other books too. I, I mean, I did the flip through of the Mike Diodato um, Jr. art of Marvel Comics, but I have to go through the comic book so you can see what he's done in it new avengers and stuff like that just see it you'll you'll love it and everything the black and white stuff is beautiful but to see the color and everything and like i said i said before if you get a good colorist peter steigewald is awesome and i can't name any other ones but i know peter steigewald when he did mike Tur michael turner's artwork oh my gosh beautiful stuff for fathom but um some of the stuff that um they're the guys that are coloring and girls that are coloring his stuff if there are girls, I'm not, not sure. I can't remember all the names. But the people that do the coloring for um, Mike Diodato Jr.'s artwork, is just it makes his artwork pop. And this, there's so many so many awesome artists out there. When you look at it and you see a good combination of people working together, you're like, wow, I got to get that book. Okay, back to the comic books. Um, I didn't pick this one up. I put it down. I saw it and I said, and then when I looked at the price, I'm like, I got to go back and get it. So when I went back today... I picked up Silencer number one. And I think, I don't know if I went through this in my haul hunt video, but, um, and, and, and if, you know, you flip through some stuff, somebody says, hey, go back and get that book. Somebody did that to me one time, and I went back, and I missed out on um, some Mario Brother books, Super Mario Brothers. Um, I flipped them and said, oh, you should have picked those up. Those are worth a lot of money. I went back maybe the next day or two days later, and it was gone. So, but this I got for $1.49. It's going for like for eight bucks or more online. So number one, but see the number one issues are what's going for money, but I, usually the other ones aren't. But I love um, Romita Jr. Romita can get a little sloppy sometimes, but when he's on, he's on, and this artwork is beautiful. So um, as soon as I saw this, I said, okay, I know it's worth something. It was it was up to like I think if I remember correctly, up to twenty bucks or more. Now it's down like the seventeen, something like that. Reign of Superman, Reign of the Superman, Superman Back for Good, number eighty-two. I have about four or five covers of this now. I'm going to use this for giveaways. In really good condition, near mint. It's like $17.50 on mycomicshop.com. I paid a dollar for it. So like I said, if I want to sell it, I can sell it for 10 and still make how much percentage of profit is that? One times 10? 1,000% profit. See, I paid a dollar for it. So I can use this for giveaways because Reign of Superman is out. So what I want to do is if if a movie is out right now, Endgame is coming out, Shazam is out, uh, Superman, Reign of Superman is out, Spider-Man, Miles Morales is out, uh, Captain Marvel, it's different stuff like that. I have a little contest weekly or something like that and say, hey, I'm giving away one book this week. Uh, comment and say you like the video or comment on the video and say, I want the book. And I, if I draw your name, it would be one winner that week and I get your address and you send it to my uh, email or gmail and i send it to you so this will be something i give away uh and then i found these uh zatanna one through four i never saw these before i paid a dollar 14 it's weird and the guy when a guy looked at me he goes um a dollar 14 that's kind of weird i'm like look at that something why are they a dollar 14 that's kind of weird so that's not, but I don't know, but they're going for really good money. That's number one. Here's number two. You got number three here. Got all the lights on, so I got glare. Number three. And you got number four. So, and they're going, I think number four is going for the most. They're about $10 each or something like that that one maybe a little more 
But I'm like, wow, okay. And I had another Zatanna number one, and I put it back because it was, I had one already. It was the one with from Seven Soldiers or something like that. She's on the front, and she's looking up, and she got all these little white rabbits around her. I put that one back. But I probably may go back and get it if it's still there. And then I found these on the video. I thought these were cool. I've already got a set or close to it, and I think one of them I got that I didn't have before, Dark Knight's Metal. And I paid $1.99 for each of these. This is number one. I still have to find number one with the metal. And this is my second copy of this one. So that's metal number one. Here's metal number two. All in good condition. I didn't get this one before, I don't think. So this is a new one for me. Metal number four. And here's metal number six. This one I pay two forty nine for because it's a little, it's a little bit more money. So they go half off. So this was like uh, four ninety nine. So I paid two forty nine for it. So nice cover. Now this one's Dark Knight, Dark Days Forge, number one. So I paid two forty nine for this one. And I, Dark Days the casting. This one I paid two forty nine for. It is, so. The ones that were less, I paid less for. So, if you can see it. It's really cool. And this one's Hark, Dark Knight's Hawkman Found, number one. This was $3.99. So, I paid $1.99 for it. So, and if I can find, hopefully I find tie-ins to some of the other books. Because those are worth money, too. Like, um, Teen Titans, number 12. Which I have yet to find. I find the books around it, up to number 11. And then number 13. <laughs> no, 12. So, I'm like, eh... So I'll keep looking. And I found another number one of this. Outsiders number one. So if I find another one, I'll use it as a giveaway or just use this as a giveaway. Because like I said, I don't mind. $1.25 I pay for this. So. And it's going for like $12 or something like that. And this one I thought was cool. I wasn't going to get it. And I said, wait a minute. Something special about this cover. Because I watched some of the other YouTube videos. And I said, you know, pick this up. Justice League Dark number three. And it's first appearance of this guy feeding time he's sick looking because look at that it doesn't look like there's really bugs on the cover and it's like paid dollar 99 for that so my only one copy of that so uh and i noticed these are expensive going for a little bit of money too when you get the adventures books like batman adventures superman adventures uh all the cartoon books um, from the TV, JLA. Some of them were worth a little bit of money. Some of them aren't. But this one, I looked and I said, I wasn't sure. This is Superman Adventures number 64. It's going for a little bit of money. So I grabbed it. And I was like, wow, okay. It's got a little bit of stress and everything on it up there at the top. I paid a dollar for it. I think it was going for like $8 or something like that. And I used to love that cartoon. I mean, I haven't watched it in a while, but I got all the DVDs everything and i got the transformers dvds i got six million dollar man dvds the whole set and i got superman adventures batman adventures jla adventures um the new batman beyond i got all that stuff and i just i haven't watched it in a while but i used to love watching them with my kids and stuff and i more so right now i'm um and i have a lot of video games but i haven't played those in a while i got a nintendo switch i got a, a psp um old version i got the new version um just different stuff like that I picked up over the years and played them for a while and then you put them down and everything like that but I, I would still hopefully get them charged up and play them again but uh and I got a PlayStation 4 and I got the headset and everything and play that VR system whoo it's pretty cool and the different stuff when you can sit on the beach and everything and look around that's cool and then when you get in out in safari and you see the animals and they come up and it's almost like they're licking you in the face because the camera's right there that's cool too some of the free stuff you get online but with this I paid a dollar forty nine for it so I got another copy of this one. Wonder Woman Rebirth, number one. So that's what you have to punch in when you want to check the price. Rebirth. And even though these are from the Rebirth line, you just punch in Wonder Woman number one and you get this. Along with the other number one number ones and everything. But uh, you'll know this is what the right after that. $1.49 for this one. Frank Cho cover. Worth a little bit. Just a little bit of money. But I like how she is. My girlfriend was talking about she likes her real thick like that, just muscular and everything. She looks cool. Like Tim Sale draws her like that too. Or Dwayne, Dwayne Cook used to draw her like that when she was uh, in that one story. Um, I don't forget the name of it, but they made a video, a movie of it, a cartoon movie. 
but just thicker. And she was taller than Superman as well. I thought that was cool. $1.49 for that one. And these are the last few books I got. Here's a number two. $1.49 for it. And those are worth the most. And then I found this Wonder Woman number 20. I had these before. They were in at um, Pack Rat Comics. They had a bunch of them, but I only bought one of each. I was going to buy more because they're worth a lot, like $15 each. They're going for, at least online, unless you can find them in a local comic book store at Half Price Books. If you want them, you're going to pay that much money for them. Wonder Woman number 20. Store called God Watch. These are like... I paid $1.49 for it. They're going like for $15 in good condition. And these are in good condition. This is a cool pose. My girlfriend wrestles. She's a massage therapist and she loves... She wrestled. She did... She was in the USA Olympics with um, uh, Terlel Delagnoff and um, J.D. Bergman and everything over in Ohio State and stuff like that. She went to the Olympics in Taiwan or Thailand. And uh, back in, um, what's it, the late 90s, something like that, 2000, something like that. But uh, she knows wrestling and stuff like that. So this is number 20. And she loves, like, when Wonder Woman busts in to save those people at the bank. And she runs, and she runs across the floor, like, down on the squat pose like that. And she goes, oh, that is so cool. She goes, that's like a wrestling move or something like that. But um, And she's blocking all the bullets. She loves that stuff. So this is $1.49 for that. Love that cover. I'd like to see a, a statue of that. Uh, number 22, part of God Watch. It's going for money, too. $1.49 for it. Going like, they were like 15, 12 to 15 bucks they're all going for. And number 23, this is, I think, the last one that was kind of worth some money. Some of them are still going. The Liam Sharp covers, I think this is. Number 23, uh, The Truth. So that's the last one I got. That was my haul. Uh, I got some really nice books. Like I said, I've been finding multiples of a lot of stuff, like all new Wolverine. I've been finding multiples of, um, like I said, Knuckles. I mean, the Knuckles stuff. I got. If you saw my uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, haul, like I said, I had about 180 books. It's like all of them. I paid a dollar eight dollar each of them for them. And I met some dude today when he he was over on the other side, and I friended him on Facebook. We um, friended each other on Facebook today, but. Um, Real cool dude, but um, we were talking and everything, and he collects books too. He buys stuff on Craigslist and everything, but he found a whole bunch of good books, and he's been getting great prices for them. He's got like Silver Age and some Golden Age stuff. I think it was mostly Silver Age stuff, but early stuff, and he's got some Golden Age too. But it, he'll he'll he went and somebody had him, got him out of a trailer or got him out of a garage or something like that, and he'll see it on Craigslist, go there talk to him. They give him a price, he pays it, or he works with them or something like that, and gets a good price, and he's got some awesome books. And he said, hey, you can come over to the house, and you can look through them. He said, I got over 10,000 books. If you just come over, you look at them, you see some, you want to put them in a stack, and just buy them over time, I'll let you do that. And he said, I just want to clear some room, because I got so many books. He bought just a few books today, because he's only being very choice, he said, because he's got so many books. But if I wanted to, he said he's got 10 cent books, he's got or dollar books or something like that. He has, he's been paying 10 cents for them, but he's selling them for like a dollar or something like that. Um, he might have 50 cents ones too, but he said if I wanted to come over one day, just hit him up on Facebook or something, message him or something like that and go by his house and he'll let me look through the books and then whatever I want or something like that. If he's selling it, he'll hold them for me and I'll just buy them over time. I was like, okay, cool. I'll check him out. But uh, it's cool. You never know who you're going to meet. You go in a comic book store and start to strike up a conversation with people. It's awesome. Man, is it, I think it's really cool. You're giving me some really cool people in the comic book field, really friendly people and everything like that. And I, I love that. Like the YouTube people and everything like that. When you go on their video and you comment and everything like that, some of the stuff that they do, and you find out, and hopefully you find out that they're like they are in their videos, real, real up and cool and everything like that and fun. It's just awesome. So um, I, I just love doing this. So stay tuned um, with my channel and everything like that. I'm going to be offering up a contest pretty soon. Like I said, to get up to 350, I think I'm on 317 subscribers right now. So I'm going to start a contest for 350 and I'm going to get, or maybe sooner, I'll go to 325 and do one book and then go to 350 and you do three books or something like that. I'll figure something out, but I got to do it quickly before I go up too high and everything on the books. But thank you very much for watching. I'm at 34 minutes and everything. I don't want to go too much longer, but thank you very much for watching again. Um, it's Sunday night. I'm getting ready to go. Get me something to drink and everything like that. Get ready to hit the bed and everything. I got to get up to go work make that money like i said before and have a great time 
and just uh, make somebody have a great day tomorrow, hopefully, and I'll have a good day myself and everything like that. I got to see my mom over the weekend. She came up to here, stayed with my sister for a little bit and got to talk with her because I don't get to get to see her too much and everything. And it's just awesome to um, see family and hang out with them for a little bit. Um, my sister's husband cooked and made some fish. I had some good, had <laughs> some good time just talking and everything and chatting and everything. So it was good. But uh, I had a great day um, and go hang out with my girlfriend a little for a little bit. But you guys have a great day, and a great night. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for my, all my subscribers and stuff like that. Um, um, like and comment and tell me what you guys are reading and everything. And I said look forward to some more contests and everything like that because I got a stack of books over here really more than the stack I have to show you and everything, but I got them all over the place. But, uh, and I see all my, all my Dom cars and everything from Fast and the Furious back there, my Batmobile and my, um, I got a, other stuff over here and everything. I try to get all the vehicles and everything. They're really cool. That's what I said I was going to show you one day, but I'll get a close up on them eventually. But, uh, thank you very much for watching again. Like I said, I said it about four or five times already, but, uh, you guys have a great day, great night. Um, and collect the dudes out. All right. Here we go.